good evening, good evening, one and all. Welcome to my extra special TV series special. Because it's not a movie, it's a series, so it's extra special. If that makes sense, I apologise. I'm just in a very good mood because I'm very excited about to do this episode. Right, before that, if you're new to the channel, and by the end of it you think I'm not half bad, if you could possibly, out of the kindness of your own little hearts, hit the like button, maybe click subscribe, or notification bell, or even leave a lovely comment, any feedback's greatly appreciated. Absolutely fine, whatever you want to do, your choice. Right, shall we begin? What is it about? Well, this series came out in 2007, and it is, it, well, it's described as a sequel to the 1886 novel written by a little-known author called Robert Louis Stevenson. The book itself, or the story itself, is kind of used as the backstory within the series for the main character. Now, the story itself revolves around a Dr. Tom Jackman, who is a descendant of Dr. Henry Jekyll, and over the course of quite a few months, he ends up, you guessed it, turning into his own version of Mr. Hyde. Now, both roles are played by the same actor, a Northern Irish actor called James Nesbitt. If you know him, he's recently, he's been in British drama Cold Feet, Sky One's Lucky Man. He was also in the last three Lord of the Rings films. So he's so he's a quite experienced actor. By the time this came out, he was only known really in Britain and in Ireland. Now, it may sound daft, but I personally feel that this series is a more believable telling of the story. If you've seen the movies like Van Helsing or The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, they've depicted him as he drinks a potion, he grows an extra three feet, muscles abnormally huge, like he's been on steroids most of his life. Whereas with this series and in the previous black and white movies with Spencer Tracy and actors like that, they've had to rely more on the actor's to show you the change that they go through and how they've changed, rather than relying on the prosthetics and the makeup and 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 at, and, and at times CGI, especially in Van Helsing, the CGI for Hyde, although it looked good, it wasn't. It, it was entertaining, but you know it it couldn't happen in real life. Whereas with all the background of people with mental illness and um, split personalities and things like that. This series, I feel, kind of latches onto that more, so it makes it more realistic. And again, this series relies on James Nesbitt portraying both roles, and he does it to an amazing standard and very good actor. Another reason why the series is a favourite of mine is the writing. If you could cut out the titles and the end credits of every of every of every episode, apart from the first one, first episode you keep the titles, and the last episode you keep the credits. If you watch them all in one go. You would think it was a long, continuous, average Hitchcock-like storyline. Watching them episode to episode, it would be like a long movie. You would get lost. It's that good. Writing is superb. Each episode flows into one another. And with the cast they've got as well, of very good good British talent, it just flows amazingly. And I'm, to be honest, I'm not surprised, considering the man that wrote the series, uh, co-wrote Dracula, co-wrote Sherlock, and also was the head writer or BBC's Doctor Who for a period of time. Now, when I get to this section of my episodes, the final word, it's basically a roundup, if you've not watched it before, um, I give all the highlights and the best bits of why you would want to watch the movie, or in this case, a TV series. I recommend you watch it, but I'm sad to say, if you buy the DVD after watching this, you watch them all through, you think, oh wow, I can't wait to see season two, to go and get season two or three or four. There isn't. Fortunately, they've put this. It's on the box. It's season one, but that's the only season, so it should be the complete series. I've read that Stephen Moffat had series two written, but the BBC didn't want to go through with it. I don't know why. It was such a good, good such a good series, but unfortunately, I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, but it's true. <laughs> right. Anyway, back to the final word and the highlights to, to make you want to watch this series. Excellent and compelling writing. You, once you start the ep episode one, you want to binge watch it all the way through to the end of episode six. Fantastic acting from James Nesbitt playing both characters. One of the better portrayals of the Jekyll and Hyde characters for quite a few years. And it's a breath of fresh air, really. It's one of the dramas where it's not really done that often. So when it, 
is done, especially with Jack on Hard, you want it to be done well. This series was done excellently well, written by Stephen Moffat. And it's one of the series that came out before BBC decided to ditch all like scary writing, writing of the shows, other shows that they used to do. Now it's all costume dramas, which you don't need. You know, you only like one, you only Downton Abbey when it was out. You didn't need all the other remakes and rewrites and productions of other costume dramas and books. This one is a series where it was very unique when it came out. It wasn't done for quite a long time before it. It's just a breath of fresh air. And you, especially if you're tired of all the costume dramas, then this is the show for you. It's a great supporting cast, a plethora of British talent, including Michelle Ryan, Dennis Lawson, Gina Bellman. Absolutely brilliant. And overall, it is a very good retelling of a very, very old story. Right, guys, that is it for this special series special. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed my content and you want to support the channel, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and click the little notification bell so you don't miss out every Sunday at 6pm. Also, if you want to know which episodes are going to be done, done or coming out beforehand or any updates at all, I'm also on Instagram at my favorite movies reviewed. I'll slot it in down here somewhere so then you can find me and, and click follow as well and maybe like a few posts. That'd be awesome. And I will see you next week on episode 10. Thank you again for watching. Your support means the world. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.